Okay. Let me just take a quick peek and see who's here. And it looks like we have some old friends, old students, a few folks that we go back quite a few years. We also have a number of new people that are here for the first time. And of course, I'm confident that we have people that are watching this on Facebook and LinkedIn that don't know me at all. So I have to touch base on a couple of things. Um, for those of you that have any questions, please uh, type your questions. Elaine, you asked a question, and we'll certainly get to that. Anybody else have any questions? Like I said, please type them in the chat window. And uh, we'll basically get to all of them. Tonight, we're going to be talking about how to turn on LinkedIn and Facebook's fast button. We just finished up three days in our summer top runner retreat. And I have to tell you, I'm still wired and excited about not just the information that we covered, but the emails and messages I got from people that attended. Let me say that all of the sessions were recorded. I told you um, there was too much information for you to take notes. So for those of you that haven't or couldn't participate, there is still time for you to register and you get a chance to, frankly, watch the recorded sessions, which is going to share with you what million-dollar earners in your business know, never talk about. So that being said, we're also going to take a look at some of the profiles of people that are attending, because most people don't realize they're invisible. So for registering for this training, you all get an opportunity to download our universal profile checklist. And this is my gift to everyone because most people don't realize that they're invisible. If people can't see you, if people can't see what you do, then you're not going to have a lot of luck on Facebook and LinkedIn, period. Now, most people are invisible on LinkedIn and Facebook. They have no clue, no clue that they're not visible. If people can't see you, then nobody's going to see your posts. Nobody's going to see any of the things that you do. So this is my gift. If you didn't get it, go to my website, maxsteingart.com. And you can download it. It's my gift. Your profile can only help you if people can see the details. A visible profile can help you stand out from your competition, attract prospects to you on a daily basis. But you must adjust your profile settings so people can see who you are. And in those settings, you can turn on a fast button. And the fast button puts you at the front of the line. People respond to you quicker. People respond to you faster. The checklist will enable you to optimize your profile for maximum visibility. Not just to everybody on Facebook and LinkedIn, but on the search engines. You'll make valuable connections easily and quickly so you can build your business faster. And you'll avoid making the common LinkedIn and Facebook mistakes that act like kryptonite and will kill your business. In the profile checklist, there are 12 steps for maximum profile visibility and increased engagement and that will produce 
immediate results. And it's the results that matter. You want to be successful in your business, you need to be talking to people. The 12 steps you take will result in 19 actions on LinkedIn and Facebook that will enable you to start conversations with your prospects when they respond to any one of these actions. Conversations that result in new enrollments. Now, did you know that it takes 90 minutes for the average person to respond to an email, but it only takes 90 seconds for the average person to respond to a text message? So in fact, 99% of your prospecting, recruiting, and business building activity can now be done on your mobile phone with a Facebook and a LinkedIn phone app. Adding animated content to your text message is producing immediate results and as a way to impress your connections and showcase your social networking expertise. A GIF, a moving image, draws extra attention to your message so people are much more likely to answer it much faster. One of the most successful strategies that we introduced years ago was to wish people a happy birthday and change your birthday so that people would wish you a happy birthday. And now, using a moving image to do it quadruples the results. Today is National Senior Citizens Day. And all you have to do is post it. Share it with the people that you're connected to, and it starts conversations. Gives you the opportunity to re-engage someone that you talked to maybe six months ago. On Tuesday, excuse me, tomorrow, as National Tooth Fairy Day. Who knew? The frequent use of animated gifts in your messages will make you stand out for the crowd of other people that your prospects are talking to, and it makes them smile, and it makes them respond to you faster. Now, if you know in advance by the contents of visible daily activity on someone's profile that they could be a perfect prospect for what you're selling, and you could quickly develop a relationship with them, and then qualify them during a casual conversation, you'll sell to more people and build your business faster. Stop wasting time reaching out to a bunch of people who will never buy your product or get into business with you. I think I'm missing, I'm missing a page. Stand by for just one second. Well, I guess I didn't put it all in. So, the green M&Ms represent people that are looking for business. The orange M&Ms represent people that have lost their jobs because of the recession. Yellow M&Ms represent unhappy network marketers that are looking for a new opportunity. The blue M&Ms represent people that are looking for business. They're looking for ways to make money on the internet. And the red M&Ms represent people who would buy your product. Easy to reach into that bowl connect with the people that you would want to talk to. Because everyone created their profile for a reason. 
So you can stop wasting time reaching out to a bunch of people who will never buy your products or get into business for you because perfect prospects are easier to find when you know what you're looking for. The more selective you are about the people you continue to talk to, the more successful you're going to be. LinkedIn and Facebook are like two big bowls of candy. They're online gold mines of eager prospects that you can proactively reach into anytime you want from any place in the world and pull out the desired candy of your choice. You're looking for people that have large circles of influence. You're looking for, frankly, the best candidates for your business are the yellow M&Ms, unhappy network marketers that are looking for another opportunity, or blue M&Ms, people with network marketing experience that would look at your business. Today, LinkedIn is 100 times better than Facebook. Fastest way to grow your business is to, like I said, deal with the unhappy network marketers. No limit to the amount of people you can contact on a daily basis. And it's free. It's free. Same thing with unhappy, well, same thing with network marketers that would be open to looking at what you're doing. No limit. Easy to identify. Perfect prospects on Facebook or LinkedIn by the information listed on their profile and their answers to some simple questions. Today, LinkedIn and Facebook have changed. They've added new features, which are going to make it easier to talk to people, engage them in a conversation. So the bottom line is you can't fail. You absolutely can't fail. With unlimited prospects to talk to on LinkedIn and Facebook and with continual practice, you simply can't fail. The content of your profile and your daily activity positions you to be perceived as an expert and an influencer by everyone that sees your profile or sees your posts. The secret to connecting with the huge pool of people available to you, attracting a constant flow of perfect prospects that easily convert to new business partners and customers has to do with three things. The relationships you create with your profile, the influence you generate with your posts, and the conversations you initiate, you start. The ability to get people to talk to you, follow you, take action, and join your team revolves around everyone's perception of who you are, which is completely in your hands and totally in your control. Now, the smartest top earners in your business are using LinkedIn, but they use it differently than most people. They use LinkedIn's latest new features to enroll customers and reps in less time. They build large teams faster, and they're building massive organizations all around the world. And what they're doing different is they're not using their profile to promote their business. They're using their profiles to promote them. And let me just take a look here. And Okay, so let's look at some let's look at some of these questions, okay? I'm going to Pop over here. And again, folks, the retreat was over three days. And we should have all the videos up by Wednesday. Okay, so Don wants, I couldn't add notes to some of the people I sent a con connect request to. What's the best way? Uh, Don, the best way to do it is to 
bring up your profile. See, when you go to your network page, you come down here, LinkedIn literally urges that you can connect with people. I could, these are people that went to my college. These are people that they're always people you may know with similar roles. So when you hit the connect button, there's no way to send a message. So what you do, instead of hitting the connect button, you bring up their profile. And you hit the connect button from here. This way, you can always send a message. Okay? Now, let me come over here and Bring up Elaine's profile. So, Elaine, it doesn't look like you've done very much on LinkedIn. Um, number one, I can see you haven't changed your URL. And so a little thing, uh, some, something little like that says nothing to the average person. But it's gonna tell, it's gonna tell you something. What it tells us, we know what we're looking for, is that you really haven't done much with your settings, with your profile. It also says that, you know, you're not all that up on the latest features that you could be using to build your business. Now, we can come down here and look at your contact information. So you're missing some, some things like your birthday, Okay, so let me come over here. Unmute Elaine. So Elaine, Elaine good yes. evening. You, you were in our uh, the LifeWave workshop that we did in June. 
I was. And this, you know, this is all kind of new to me using LinkedIn. And after I, I was on another one of your Zooms, and um, at that point, I updated a lot of things and added a picture and, you know, so forth, changed things around. Um, but I agree with you. I'm really a novice with all this. And I'm just wondering, your September, October workshop, is that something that you would you would delve into? Or is this something I, I need to do? I mean, I know I need to become more um, literate with all of with all the social media information. Well, um, didn't your comp did you go to the company convention? Didn't you just have it like this past weekend? Or yes, I um, just had hip surgery and my hip replaced a month ago. So I'm I'm just like starting to physically recover from all this and I'm feeling a lot better now. So I, I'm really hoping, you know, in the fall to really, you know, to jump back in um, and use use LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, I have to admit, I'm a little nervous about the whole thing. And so Renata mentioned, you know, you and, and I, I listened and, and I haven't still pulled all your resources up that I have access to, like the profile book and so forth. Um, and that's on me. Um, but anyway, I, I kind of am looking for a little more guidance. And I, I know that um, my organization has offered, uh, they have uh, evening uh, gatherings, a uh, little on the late side for me, but I'm going to just get myself to stay up to do them because uh, I need the support. So, okay. Well, well, in the workshop that you attended, I really jammed in a, a tremendous amount of information. And, and the one thing about social networks like Facebook, LinkedIn, they're changing all the time. Yes. So things that I showed you and everybody in, in, in the uh, team web workshop that we did uh some of those things have changed now and every month things are always changing the boot camps we do are at night they run on they run on tuesdays and thursday nights let me let me i'm wondering what time what time they are um well, it they start at nine o'clock at night. Okay, nine o'clock. All right. Well, that my and other they, are over they, about nine, so <laughs> I could just make it a late night. <laughs> and they and they, from, they go from usually from nine to eleven. Okay. But here's the thing that most boot camp participants miss. Now, as soon as you're registered for the September boot camp. We give you access to the August boot camp that just finished. So you don't have to wait until September 9th for it to start. You can jump into it right away. Okay. But here's the thing. So Tuesday night, create your page. I'm sorry, Thursday night, then the following Tuesday, connect. Then the following Thursday, communicate. And the following Tuesday, oh, this should, this should say close. But in addition to these this eight hours of training. But in addition to this, every week I am live and online for 12 hours. So that's 24 hours of access time. And during our live broadcast, I give preference to boot camp participation. So between the 24 hours, and the eight hours of the actual boot camp, you have access to me for 32 hours. Now that's for one boot camp. Now, like I said, everything changes from month to month. Every month we introduce new strategies. Every month, for example, if we come down here, the calendar every month there are different holidays for example on wednesday it's national waffle day friday national dog day we move into september well obviously we've got labor day that's the big one 
But Saturday is International Bacon Day. Wednesday, National Beer Lovers Day. These are all unofficial holidays that enable you to start a conversation with someone. And, and some of these uh, uh, holidays, you know, they're unofficial. No, National Cheeseburger Day, uh, National Pepperoni Pizza Day. Who ever heard of these? National Coffee Day. They, they're silly, but National Chocolate Milk Day, National Pancake Day. But this gives you, and every month it's different. Every month there are different holidays. If we go to October, You got the beginning of the Jewish holidays. Um, you got National Boyfriends Day, National Coaches Day. So, you know, if you went on LinkedIn, there's over, there's millions of coaches. So there's all kinds of opportunities to use an unofficial holiday to start a conversation. And the website gives you access to holidays in different countries. These are holidays, you know, in the United States. Now, the other thing is that in each boot camp, as I work with our students, we're coming up with new scripts. We're coming up with new tactics. And the people that are participating in boot camp pick these things up. Uh, once a year, I release a home study course and we try to update it once a year. Folks in boot camp get the latest training, the, the latest information. But at the end of the day, it comes down to what you're looking to do. So let's come back over to your profile. Uh, and so my big interest in getting more into all of this, well, the biggest interest is, is the product that I'm involved with now um, you know, that Renata, the, on Renata's team and so forth. Um, and, um, but as I said, this is also new to me, the just, so in the boot camp setting, I mean, you just mentioned you don't have your URL listed or whatever. I mean, I'm just like, I'm listening to that. It's like, okay, what does all that mean? Right. <laughs> well, right. So, right. Would so that be something you could, you, in other words, I could ask, I'm, you know, ask questions about things like, I mean, would I be able to get some uh, my, of those kind of questions answered or is that going to be boring for everyone else listening? Know, no, 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 no. <laughs> for example, in the connect section, the first profile, what we do is we actually take people and we step them through the whole process of setting up their profile, oh, going, all right. going through their settings. So you, you'll see how working with someone else, where I go to change this. You know, it's literally laid out for you. You're watching me work with other people. In some cases, you know, we'll use some of our bootcamp students as um, um, case studies, where we'll go in, we'll log, we'll log into your account, and, and, and we'll, you know, do it with you. So everything is covered. Okay, that's good because that's what I need. I, I just need a little hand holding. Um, uh, you know, I, I I love people. I love the products that I'm involved with. Um, I I'm just so delighted. I learned about it, and uh, you know, I mention it to people as I run into people. But the whole idea of of reaching out to people who are in this kind of business looking for an opportunity uh, really appeals to me. I'd be helping them and. Uh, once again, I, I agree. You don't have to convince me. I mean, that's the way to move forward with all this. Um, and my biggest question was, well, if I enroll in the September, October, because as I said, I'm just getting on my feet health wise, um, which made it difficult since I was in a car accident. So everything kind of fell apart for the last six months. So now I'm starting to get back to, uh, to promote something for people who want to be healthy. I mean, it's hard when you're not feeling up to par to promote something for people to be healthier. But anyway, oh. For sure, and I'm and I'm certainly <laughs> and I'm I'm certainly glad you know you're on the road to recovery. Um, but tell me about this uh, your your professional practice. What what's this all about? 
So um, I'm just, I was, as I said, um, for the last 30, 35 years, um, working with clients as a communication person, speech and language pathologist, myofunctional therapist. And then um, with COVID and so forth, and the fact that I like to travel, it doesn't work for me anymore to do, um, I like online. So um, professionally with speech, I can't do that easily online because uh, as far as working with an individual practice, uh, because you can only, you have a license within a state. So I can do things like help mentor other people in training. So um, my current website, I, I do offer that I can zoom in and help people with a therapy case they're working with, that type of thing. The Theta Healing, I'm gonna actually be able to teach online classes to teach people how to become Theta Healers. Um, I'm just working right now with, with Zoom and so forth. I've got to call them because there's some confusion there with, with the Zoom accounts and so forth. But the main thing um, is for me to help attract, I know the people involved with Theta, for example, are more alternative types of people, uh, medical people, if you want to say medical, but they're people who would be more into the product I'm selling um, and so forth. So I think there'll be some clients that will come along by me teaching these classes who would be interested in this particular product that I'm marketing. Let me ask you a question, something that you said. So as a speech pathologist, yes. Um, does the person need to be sitting in front of you to, to, to work with them, to help them? No, not really. I mean, depending on the type of problem that you have, a lot can be done, um, you know, online. Mm -hmm. But, I but mean, it's, yeah, I'm sorry, go but, ahead. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it, it, you know, now that you we've got Zooms. Yes. You, you know, you're looking at them, they're looking at you. Right. It's, it's exactly the same thing. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. The biggest part is the licensing because uh, being in, I have a uh, Connecticut license and uh, professionally, uh, I'm supposed to only see, uh, you know, Connecticut people as far as if I'm doing the, you know, professional speech license. I mean, I could guide other people in other states who are doing it, but actual, you know, if, if that makes sense. Um, I mean, how like that? So, so who would be, well, you're working with somebody that needs obviously help with, with their speech. Well, it would probably be less speech at this point and more theta healing. Theta, you don't need um, a license in a state. What's, um, what is theta healing? So theta healing is a form of energy healing and you can help people change beliefs so that they might be stuck and unable to go forward because they're triggered emotionally by something. Mm -hmm. Whether it, be, it could be, it could be losing a loved one um, and they just can't get past it or or uh, something else that uh, their, their fear of flying, or, you know, whatever. I mean, a fear, a belief, something. And you can help them um, on uh, over the internet. It's exciting. I mean, I've had it, I've participated myself. It can be very, very effective. So I've fallen in love with it. And what, one thing I love about it is I can see people all over the world for that matter. I mean, anybody, I have a website right now, anybody who'd be interested. Um, and the, that's the population that I believe um, you know, may become interested in my product. But also I do believe, like you said, you, you, you basically interest people in yourself. You sell yourself in looking for team members. So I think there's that other piece. Um, so I, I see my future as attracting people through the energy healing modality. Um, maybe also people in speech who, um, who are also looking for other opportunities perhaps, but maybe not maybe more looking um, for other people who are looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. to uh, get involved in a product and, uh, you know, and, and get to know me and, and have some confidence or want to work with me on, um, on a team. But so, I, once again, um, I keep the guidance. <laughs> so there, there's uh, 43,000 theta healers on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so, I think some of them would be interested in, I didn't realize that, in uh, my product for sure, as an uh -huh. adjunct to, uh, to what they're doing. Uh -huh. For sure. But, but these people are putting themselves out there looking for clients to help. I see what you mean. And, and, and so um, 
if you are looking for clients, um, people that have issues that you would work with, that you would deal with, um, you can't go on um, LinkedIn and do a keyword search for people that are uh, emotionally depressed to say uh, uh, that, oh, that, sure. that, that happened. Right, right. So right. the thing is, the way you would attract your clients along mm -hmm. those lines would be with your posts. You post things that um, would be appreciated by the people that you're looking to attract, the people that would be interested in a theta hero. Or you want to attract the people who know people, who have clients that they would refer to a theta hero. hero. And, and that can become a huge source of people reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. So it all it all comes down to um, what is a myo mentor? Well, that's the myofunctional therapy, and um, you know it hasn't been something that's really taken off. Um, and I, you know, I'm just debating whether I should continue or not. But um, that's someone who works with people who have had, um, well, it's a oral motor issues, um, either through illness or uh, maybe children in development, where um, there are structural issues that affect uh, the way their teeth are developing in their mouth because of muscle muscle issues. And that was where, because of my the licensure issue. Um, and having to stay within my lane in Connecticut, um, but as a mentor and helping other people who are becoming uh, myofunctional therapists and would like guidance, you know, that's where I was putting myself out for that population. Um, but you know, once again, that that's becoming less and less of an interest of mine, and more of the theta is becoming more of of something I'm more interested in. Okay, so. What you want right now, you're giving it equal um, presence. If, yes. if you if you want to minimize myo and mm -hmm. and you know focus on theta healer, then that sh that should be the primary thing that you put up there. Okay. All right. Because again, see what people put on their profile is what they want to talk about. Now, on the other hand. You're looking to promote your LifeWay products. Right. And, and so that, and there's two ways to do it. You can be looking for people that will be product users. And of course, the other thing that you're also looking for is you're looking for people that are looking for a business opportunity, but they have to be able to relate to health and wellness and they have to be open and appreciative of you know your company's unique products and when you can find and there is an overabundance you know uh renata worked with me i think it was eight or ten years ago when she was building a univera business and mm -hmm. uh as a result, I mean, she knocked it out of the park, you know, in Univera. She's a million dollar earner. A number of her her team members I'd say achieve million dollar status. But when the company abruptly closed and she found herself out of business in November of 2020, she she, you know, she stepped away from the business for six months. Uh, a lot of people didn't. A lot of people, you know, went and found LifeWave and started bringing people from Univera over to LifeWave. When Renata started, and she waited six months, and then her husband was using the products and he had phenomenal results. Right. So, so it was the re result of the results. So she jumped into the, she decided she's going to build a business. 
She wasn't on LinkedIn. She was just on Facebook. But using the same strategies that she mastered with my help, in six months, she was a top leader. Not only was she a top leader in the company, but she did it so quick. And, and the, the nature, the positive nature of the people that she was bringing into the business, um, literally the company, you know, she's now on the company's advisory board because they recognize, you know, she's a great leader. She's a great person. And she, and she really gets and understands social media, which in no time at all, you could learn. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, yeah, I guess that I'm just looking if you, and it, you know, it seems like you have some patience with me because uh, I guess I'm still trying to figure it out, but I, I, the more I, I, it's almost like the speech in the Mayo, it's important to put it in because it gives people some history about me. But uh, at the same time, like you said, the theta uh, and the wellness and the, the life wave, that's, that's really my biggest interest right now. Um, so maybe, you know, I mean, I have a website, which I may have to go in and, and modify if I, you know, I, I'm leaving the Mayo mentoring there um, because I'd be more than happy to help somebody with that. But, but absolutely the theta is, uh, you know, much more of what I'm interested in, in the, uh, and even more than that, the life wave. So. Okay. But thank you. Uh, the theta, just putting theta up in a search does give me a, a feeling for how people are describing themselves and so forth. So that certainly well, gives me ideas. Yeah. Well, that's what in, you know, in boot camp, you know, when I'm working with you, yes. I'm working with somebody else, everybody else is watching, then, you know, it, it triggers um, an understanding for people when they apply to themselves. Um, oh, and I, I, you know, I could teach anybody, I could teach you how to do this in five hours. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay and, and literally uh um and this is how i develop my material this is how i develop uh my scripts it's how i develop it's how i improve my knowledge of what's happening on linkedin and facebook uh uh logging into someone's account and going through the steps uh my first hour i let me see who's here that i that i'm uh that i'm working with that i can um see it takes time for you all to uh pick this information up learn it um here, here. I'm going to log out of my account. Oh, and I see that Don um, asked a good question. Is there a daily or monthly maximum connection request? Um, the maximum requests on LinkedIn that you can ask, you, you don't want to ask, you don't want to reach out to more than 30 people a day. Okay. 30 people a day. And, uh, um, and frankly, you don't need to reach out to 30 people a day. Well, that's good to know. I, I was thinking that, that, that the amount would be a lot smaller than that. So you're okay doing something like that. I mean, not that I'd be reaching out to 30, but, but you would be. Well, you, again, see what happens is it's quality over quantity. Right. So as you, as you, learn how to use the searching features the correct way mm -hmm. then what starts to happen is in 15 minutes you could reach out to seven or eight people okay. make those connections and and, and you, you just get better at picking people for example i'm in, in roland's account this is his this these are all the people he's talking to right now you'll notice a lot of them have open to work frames around their pictures so it it's um he knows that these people are looking for an opportunity mm -hmm. and now it comes down to are they suitable for his business and, and so 
um, in going through, for example, I'm going to jump into his settings because we talk about the turn on that fast switch. So you go over to your visibility. And what we're talking about is, is it's come down here, visibility of your activity. Because most people don't realize that the only people who can see your active, your logged on, as set up by LinkedIn is your, only your connections. So you turn around, you go in here and you turn this one on. That means that anybody that looks at your profile is going to see that little green dot. And if they think you're there, they're more inclined to answer you. They're more inclined to respond to you, which increases the number of people that you can talk to. It increases your the number of people that are going to turn around and respond to you. And things yeah. like the, the banner he has and so forth, that would be something you would you would show us where to. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, that's, <laughs> that's, that's well, no, that, no I, I don't mind answering the question. So, and, and let me, let me, I'm not, I'm, let me, let me unmute Roland because I don't remember. Roland, how are you? I'm doing great, Max. I know you've had a long weekend. Yeah, um, you know, yeah, I really have. Uh, how did you enjoy the retreat? Oh, it was great. You all fired up and excited? Um, well, it was like drinking out of a fire hydrant. But other than that, yeah, it was great. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I had to mention a couple of times. You know, don't take notes. You know, you're going to go back through that, <laughs> and and at your own leisure. I'm just curious. Uh, the the cover that you have is that something you put up, or was that something we did? You did it. Okay. That's what I, 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 I'm not familiar with that one. That must be a, that must be a new one. So to answer, and, and I have to tell you, Roland is going to be a superstar. Okay. He's just getting started. This is his first experience with network marketing, but there are some people. And if you look at Roland's um, resume, he has been successful in a number of businesses. He knows how to talk to people. And, and, and the, the way that you communicate with, with folks, I mean, it's, it's a pleasure to jump into your account. And you're really picking some great people. So, um, but, but it's your natural, um, call it a talent or, or, you know, based on the experience, of having managed and run, you know, your own companies, it positions you to be helpful to the people that once they come in the business with you, I mean, you're going to be, you're going to be able to hold them by the hand and, and basically help them. So Elaine, what, what he, he's going through this process, but in our first hour of coaching, we had his account set up. We, we uh, showed him how to search and we wrote the initial scripts that he's going that he's using to connect with people. So all he really has to do by hour two, maybe it was hour by hour two and a half is actually engage in the process of, of searching for people and making those connections and, and, and I can, I, he, again, he picked it up right away. So he's reaching out to great people. Every, every uh, if we go over here to his network, we can look to see. So he's, and again, he's just getting started. He's only got 570 people. But if we go over to look at his activity, see, two days ago, he sent out connection requests you know, to a bunch of people. As these people accept, then they're going to be, you know, on his list. And every day, so, you know, four days ago, and then one week ago, so you can see he's just getting into this. Ultimately, every day, 
you're going to be reaching out to 10 people a day. Uh, you're going to start out slow with five a day, 10 a day. And, and then once they accept you, then they end up over here. And you're connected. Now we start the conversation. The conversations are going to be over here. So you reach out to people. And we could scroll down this list. And we could see, it's nice to connect with you. So he's, he's uh, these are what we call the icebreaker. So he's already reached out to people. And in our next coaching session, we're going to go in here. And, and I'm going to work with Roland and we're going to go and probably this next one will be all you need to uh, be able to um, know how to go from like this one here. Is this person really a good prospect? So we do it together and I'm going to show him exactly. So here's somebody that's open to work. We come down here and let's look at her experience. So she's been looking for a job like since March. Well, she's been a delivery driver for DoorDash. Uh, before that, she worked here. So you look at the kind of work that they do. And then there's some questions that you would normally ask someone like this for example she right now she 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 uh works for doordash and uh she started working for doordash but she's open to work she wants to do something else you look over here she was chief of operations so she, swamp boys trucking this uh she was the ceo what was this all about? It looks like it might have been her company. Before that, she was a daycare teacher. So you look at the background of what people do, and then there are going to be specific questions. There's a specific line of questions that you would ask this person to determine whether or not they're suitable for Roland's business. Or he may take a look at this and say, you know what, I, I don't know why I reached out to her uh I'm, I'm just not going to go any further so that that's where now you, everybody will you figure it out on your own okay yes but, hey but, i appreciate this yes thank you but, and and to yeah. share all yeah. this it, it, yeah, it's no, 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 that's what these things are for you know so what, what happens i mean roland how are you how are you benefiting from working with me um, I, I was been thinking about that for uh, several days, and frankly, if I didn't have you as a coach or your twin brother, I would be lost as a goose. Um, you you give us so much great information in the webinars and all the printed information, but. My goodness, it would be till now, till Jesus comes to figure all that out if I was trying to do it by myself. So it's invaluable. Thank you, Roland, for saying that. Because <laughs> I kind of feel very lost. Well, I, 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 you know, I, 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 I appreciate that. And, and you know, uh, we try to put everything out there in small bites. And, and what's happened is over the years, you know, rather than break this thing up into little pieces and 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 uh, um, sell a, a training program for this, and then then you need the next training program and the next training program and the next training program, um, which is what a lot of people do. You know, if you buy into something and then you realize, well, you need you need this, you need this, you need this, you need this. Um, I give you the whole thing. But still, it's a you know it takes time for you. It takes time for anybody to um, figure it out, and then to figure out more than anything else 
you have to apply the information. You have to apply it to your situation. Yeah, so that's ab absolutely. And you, you have to kind of be ready. That's why I, I've waited till just about now. Um, and even like <laughs> opening up, hitting that button so everyone can see everything. I kind of want to make sure my profile is the way I like it before I go. No, 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 don't, don't do that. No. What you do is open yourself up. You know, that's, that's a problem. A lot of people, they want it to be perfect. Okay. <laughs> before they do anything. We're all works in progress. Okay. So what you're going to do is you, 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 you work on it. You put it together. You, um, you basically go with the flow. It, 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 it's don't hold anything back. And, and you're constantly, you got to improve. You have so many people that you can be talking to. Yeah. That, that there's, there's, um, what's, that's really what you want to do. You, this is, you know, look at, look at LinkedIn. It's a party. Okay. Now, if you were invited to a black tie affair and you're wearing, you know, a really nice dress and, you know, your hair is, you know, I mean, you're really all dolled up and, and men were all wearing tuxedos. So, um, you walk into a room, you've got some beautiful women all dressed up very, very elegantly. And the men are all dressed in tuxedos. The men all look alike. I mean, the, the tux, you know, we're all in tuxedos. And, and so you don't really know about people by looking at them. However, if the event has a particular subject, then we can assume that everybody there is, has that kind of an interest. But imagine if you could walk around that room with everybody's in a tux and be able to quickly look them up on LinkedIn where you have their resume. Mm. It's cool. Now, on the other hand, there are going to be some people that want to take advantage of this occasion. And so they'll, uh, case in point, Herbalife years ago came out with a, a button. It was about six inches across. Want to lose weight? Ask me how. So you could put that button on the lapel of your tuxedo and walk around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People would see the, the button. And if they wanted to lose weight, they would ask about it. Um, a lot of people would see you walking in their direction. And they would, you know, you walk up to somebody and say, excuse me, I got to go to the men's room. Because... They can see you're one of those people. I mean, what are you doing wearing a want to lose weight button at you know this kind of an affair? Um, it, you know, it's a, it's in it's in poor taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, so but everybody's different. One one of the top earners in network marketing, he was my first whale that I helped. Uh, we we talked about him during the retreat. Uh, Terry Swords. Terry built an organization of a of 150,000 people. And he did it in the old, old fashioned way. He would walk up to anybody. He had a card, you know, want to make $500 a week, ask me how. And I met him, well, first time I met him, we went out to lunch. So I drove to a restaurant, we get out of the car, the uh, valet takes the keys, Terry hands him a card. Want to make an extra $500 a week, call me. Then we walk in, he hits the hostess, he hit the waiter, the waitress, the busboy. I mean, he literally, I mean, that's the way he did it. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that's one of the reasons why he was so fascinated about being able to do it on social media. It just becomes, it, it comes down to this. How fast you want to go? My home study course, you can do it at your own pace. Uh, boot camps, you're doing it at your own pace, but by participating in boot camp, you also have access to me for uh, during during the course of a, of two weeks, thirty two hours. So you jump on any of these sessions. Like, look what we're doing here now. I'm talking to you now. Everybody else that's on here listening, people that are watching this on LinkedIn, or people that are watching this on Facebook, people that are watching this on YouTube. I'm answer I'm talking to you, mm -hmm. and the questions that I'm answering are helping you know a lot of people. 
Okay. And it's just like I said. So what boot camp is going to do for you, it's going to give you really a good opportunity to learn this stuff at your own pace. What coaching does is it speeds up the process. And, and at the same point in time, I mean, I learn something every time I work with a coaching student. I'm logging into an account. I see something that Facebook has done, LinkedIn has done that they didn't that they didn't do yesterday. And of course, that benefits all my other coaching students and it benefits the people that go through my boot camps. Because there's nobody out there that is as in tune and up to date as to what's going on on LinkedIn and Facebook, because I'm in it. You know, in fact, uh, in every boot camp, we usually have a half a dozen social media experts that, you know, they come into my class because they want to learn what's new. So, um, uh, so that's kind of, uh, you know, the way y- y- you can benefit and everybody, let me, let me take a look now. I'm, I'm going to, while I'm still in Roland's account, I can scroll down and I'm going to look at so I'm going to bring up Calvin now Calvin's on is connected to me so he's on roll on second level whoops I didn't want to do that let me go back and let's look at his profile So we can see Calvin's online. He's got to, this, this is your fast button. And people can connect with him and he's hiding his, his, you know, his settings. That is more than anything else. That's the important thing. I can come up here. <laughs> and I can look at Eugene. And so we got a whole bunch of people here that and let me I'm gonna look Eugene up on mine on mine because I don't and It doesn't look like Eugene's on LinkedIn, or if he is, I certainly can't see him. Let's go down a little further. Okay, let's take a look at Hootie. Okay, actually, before well, I'm going to come back to Hootie. Um, let me come over here. And let's look at Victor. Okay, so Victor is a million dollar earner in his business. Extremely successful. He was participate. He's participating. He went through the retreat. Now, look at his profile. Okay. Anybody that looks at him, whether even if he's sleeping, people can see he's there. They think he's there. And so if he messaged them, if he sent them any kind of a um, message, they're more inclined to write back because he's there. He's not there, but it doesn't matter. They write to him that message is going to be waiting for him when he gets up tomorrow, when he decides he's going to open things up. He can't, let's come down here. and what? Did, so here, he's created a, an anniversary date of August, which means that people, when they look at his profile, 
see his anniversary for his business is this month and that triggers a whole bunch of notifications where people reach out to you or to him and go hey happy, congratulations on your anniversary which gives him the opportunity to decide do is this somebody that i want to talk to is there you always want to have the end in mind when you're talking to somebody. You know, is this someone that conceivably would be interested in my business? Is this somebody that would conceivably be um, a customer? And and it makes the whole process easier. Knowing in advance, that's why I've used for years I've used that uh, example of the, the bowl of candy. I mean, how hard is it to reach into a bowl of candy and pull out the green M&Ms? <laughs> I remember the first time we actually did a video where I, I, I we opened, I mean, it was like the, we had this one big salad bowl filled with M&Ms and uh, I had three people surrounded at this ball and we had a contest to see how you pull out the greens, you pull out the yellow, you pull out the red. And it was, it was a, a blast, you know, watching people, you know, pull, pulling these th things out. My wife was one of the contestants and for every three she pulled out, she ate two. <laughs> so we didn't really have a, we really didn't have a, a good count, but there's never been a faster, easier way for anybody to connect with people. You, you don't have to go to, uh, uh, you don't have to buy leads. And let me just look at, oh, yeah. you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make this easier for me. So I'm gonna log out of my, uh, his account i'm going to come back into mine so the idea is you put yourself out there and you become the person that the person that you want to talk to would enjoy talking to so it's all about putting things out there and letting people see what you do. And if people can see what you do, people can like it. They can react to it. On Facebook, you got the same thing. On Facebook, posting has, gives you the most and the fastest visibility. You got to be visible. You got to turn on your settings so people can see you. If people can see you, you're going to get a quicker response. And stories are the fastest way. LinkedIn, I mean, we could post things. Kenna posted something five hours ago. You come down here and she's had, looks like 20 people that liked it. Two people have comments. So the more likes and the more comments you get, the greater the visibility your post is going to have. But for maximum visibility, it's right now it's stories. LinkedIn, Facebook is giving stories highest priority. So I'm making it a point, and they only last for now uh, for 24 hours. <clears throat> so earlier today, I made a post. I don't know what uh, Spartacus and Bentley like better, going for a walk or taking a ride to the dog park. But in any event, these two guys love getting out. They love networking with other dogs. Now, that was, that was short. I don't know what. Uh, but I've had 19 people so far that have viewed it. Ron Federico is... Uh, I want to say an executive director in um, chiropractor, executive director in Malibu. 
uh, come down here. So people that I've talked to at different times come back, and this is one way. So you can see, you know, to make these connections. Now I could reach out the ones with the green dots. They're there right now. They're there right now. Now he, Iran did this nine hours ago, but if he left his settings up. I'd still think he was there, which which would give me maybe greater um, incentive to, you know, want to reach out and talk to him. So let's come back over here. Oops. And so let's look at. And so I guess Eugene doesn't have a LinkedIn page. Let's come over here. Now, Hootie, I remember you sent me something on Facebook. So let me get out of here. And let me unmute hit you, uh, Hootie. Because there was something that, you, that he said that um yeah max uh i'm here Finally. yeah I, yeah i i um It's been a while, I think, uh, that I sent that. I, I just, uh, you know, tried signed up for the uh, boot camp yesterday. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, well, it, it, it was the, the reason that I br I'm bringing it up is because b because of the subject matter. Oh, yeah, I haven't done anything. No, no, I, under <laughs> I know, I, under I understand that. Right. I understand that, but it, you know, but it's like, you know. So here, you know, this, you know, everybody's got a story. Yeah. Okay. So you get into a business. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you know, so you got involved in seven K medals. Right. Right. Which, which I have to tell you, right now, mm -hmm. with the recession going right. on. Uh, it, it's really a rock solid business. I know. Okay. So, um, but I'm not, I'm not talking to people. That's what it is. Well, right. But I, but see, but got me into, are not interested in help, but the people that got you into the business aren't helping you. Right. Well, it's, that's true. Okay. And that, unfortunately, that is rampant in this business. People Sign you up because they want to sign you up. Right, they, right. They promise you the world, and then they go. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, yeah. and then they go. I, I, and, and I beg for help. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know what? You're on your own. I, I've I've come to that uh, conclusion. They're not going to help me. It's only when it's up to me. Well, that's true, mm. but but you know there there's a. Um, there's a level of integrity. There's a level of responsibility that's lacking in this business. Right. And, and that's, that's what, that's, what hurt. that's all, that's what always has hurt me with uh, network marketing. You know, I mean, I believe in it. I, th I think I can do it and I can't because, you know, it's like they disappear and then I got to go out on my own. And it's like, there's no, di it's no different from go knocking doors selling insurance or you know anything else right well so the the truth is that what you need to do is if you're going you see it's one thing to get into a business because you're attracted to a product you're attracted to a service right and what people don't realize and usually they don't realize it 
until they've been in two or three networking companies. Right. But if you're going to get into business with somebody, yeah, you want to find out what their background is, what their experience is. You, you want to get into business with somebody that can help you. Right. You, you, you want to get into business with somebody where you can benefit. Exactly. Okay. And, and unfortunately, it, you know, it, it, it happens a lot. I see it, you know, my boot camps, I would say 60% of the people in my boot camps are orphans. Right. Whoever got them into the business, they're not there anymore. Exactly. Okay. And, and, uh, um, but can now in your case, your audience is going to be different. You're not looking for somebody that's looking for an opportunity. You're, you're looking to talk to somebody that's successful, that's got a good income coming in. Right. And they're concerned about the shrinking value of the dollar. So every week when they get paid and they're putting a portion of their check in a savings account, Right. That, that that that's shrinking in value. Exactly. So so we'll cover that. Um well that's know, we that's why I, I chose uh, 7k. You know, this is like okay, first it was Amway, prepaid legal, uh what came after that? Uh uh geez. Uh, uh Primerica, you know, it's it's <laughs> Uh, Intel travel, it just goes on and on and on. You know what I mean? So it's time to make it happen somehow. All right. Well, you, you know, yeah, listen, I'm sorry it's taking you so so long. To, uh, <laughs> you remember Amway? <laughs> well, you know the bottom. Look, the bottom line is, uh, have you? Do you have a LinkedIn account yet? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I've had one. I just don't use it that much. Well, LinkedIn is going to be the is going to be where you really want to be. Okay. It's going to be better. No, I believe for you. you. I believe you, Max. You're the man. Seriously, I know it. I love your uh, uh, motivational talks every morning. You know, I mean, I stopped for a while, and then uh, you know, it, it's just great to hear you. Well. Just seem like a decent person, brother. Well, <laughs> so what, 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 is, what, 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 what is your background? Uh, well, I used to be a, uh, a, a supervisor in a bakery. Okay. I used to work for Spunk Meyer, and uh, who was who was there before that? Uh, uh, it was a company out of Colorado. Uh, okay. We did, we did bread for uh, Quiznos. Uh, so, you know, Quiznos is gone. So, uh, well, you're, you're, look, but you, you're I, had your... to, I had to switch. I had to get out of uh, baking because uh, uh, I just had some problems with uh, leadership, to be honest with you. You know, I had some uh, people who, uh, they weren't trustworthy, and uh, when when you're the uh, plant manager's son, stepson, and, and you know, it, it just was not a bad situation. But that happens. It's politics, you know. And I've grown from that. And I think that uh, you know, some some of my, I, I just got to be more positive. Change. That's what it is. And I'm working on that every day, you know. Well, you know, and 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 and, and I'm and, and what I'm doing now is uh, uh, trying to make this seven uh, K business work. I, it makes a lot of sense to me, but I also have to have a, earn a living, pay the bills, and. Uh, I've had some success with uh, some appraising. Uh, well, you're, you're look, you're in the right place, mm -hmm. and and this is a very very good time. To yeah, be in, in, in the business that you're in, more so now 
than probably at any other time. Right, so, right, right. So now, now boot camp starts in September. Right. But you have access to the recorded sessions for the August boot camp, so you don't have to wait. Go in there. Okay. Start start looking at the um, start start looking at the recorded sessions. Okay. For yeah yeah the, for for last month. Okay. And so you know this, this one will help you create your page. This one will walk you through. You know building up your list connecting with people so it you don't have to wait you can you can jump into it okay and and start doing it right away it, it really just depends on and by the way for those of you that didn't participate in the retreat um you can still register and um we probably won't have all the videos up until you know, maybe Wednesday, but, um, you know, the bottom line for all of you is, is that network marketing, I have to say, is an unbelievable industry, okay, that where else can you build a legitimate business for small investment, a business that will, that has no limits to the amount of money you can make? has no limits to the geographical area that you want to build the business. There's no limits. And you're setting up your own business. It is a legitimate, there's a le legitimate tax. It's a tax deductible business. Mario, I'm looking for you. I can't find you. I like looking at, looking at the profiles of some of the folks that are here. Let me um, okay, Peter. Let's take a look at your profile. Now, again, Peter, your settings are off. Okay, you still have, I can still see your followers. Now, you got 8,000 followers, which means you're connected to 8,000 people, which is huge. But you need to go in there, and we need to turn that off. You, you want the connect button. Um, let's and I'm gonna I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name. And that should be an E, not a W. All right, let me look in the question box, see what else we got here.
Okay, now I want you to notice. I put the name in here. And your your picture doesn't show up. I'm I'm gonna guess this is you. But I just want you to know, maybe you try to start a, a, a profile earlier. So you've got two. So let's click on this one. See, no picture. You may have a picture. We may see it when we click on this. But when people are doing a search, they can't see the picture. The other issue that you have is you got a follow me button up there and you want the connect button. So you need to adjust your settings. Now, the back door to reach out to people that don't make it easy. You don't want to follow anybody. You come over here to more. The connect button is here. This is the back door. But you're just getting started. At the end of the day, let me take a look. What did I see? Let me look at Marilyn. Let me unmute Meryl. Hey, stranger, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I can't complain. That's good. <laughs> so, um, Marilyn, remind me, um, were you in Isogenics, Zija? Um, Maluka. Maluka. Mm -hmm. um, so how's business? You, you seen your director yet? No. Still working on it and I've been super busy and it's hard to, to get to stuff. <laughs> okay, well... Um, do I need to get rid of that message? Which message? This one. So I could have connect on there. Uh, no, you're fine. Okay. You you see, we're connected already. Yes. The, the reason that I knew that he had the wrong button was because I could see his followers. Okay. You're, 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 you're fine. Okay, good. I think I need to update stuff or, you know, just do some different things or something. Well, you know, something that you could do you know, almost immediately okay. is you could change the start date on this to, right. August, to August. Okay. And that's going to give you an anniversary. Then in 10 days, when it's September, you can stick it back or you could come over here your birthday's in December, you might want to change it to September. I don't want to get any older quicker. <laughs> well, no, 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 I no, know no. what you're saying. I agree. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes, you know, I do. <laughs> it's so, you know, basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna it's gonna start conversations. Right. Which is, you know, clearly what you want to do. Right. So, let me take a look at some other folks that are here. It's nice to see you. You too. And let me unmute Stan.
Stan, are we getting close to the end of your busy season so we can start going to work? <laughs> Not really, but we got to get to work. All right. Well, <clears throat> I got to yeah, start. I got to start making some money from this business. Right. Well, listen, just uh, you know, let the office know. And, you know, we'll do a. You know, I understand. You know, you, this is you know your prime season with your your landscaping, uh, you know, business and all the other stuff. But we need to squeak in just a little bit of time to, um, like I said, to start making money in this business. So, but when you're ready, I'm ready. Okay, I'll give uh, Santa um, email her and let's set up a, a time. Good. Actually. Write to Casey, uh, support at maxlinegard.com. Write to Casey, because all Santa's going to do is Santa's going to call Casey. Oh, Casey. Okay, sorry. Uh, K Casey will uh, will get your right set up. It will happen for her. Okay. Yeah, no. Whoops, what happened? Hold on a second, Sam. Um, there you go. I inadvertently hit the mute button. Anyway, reach out to um, reach out to Santa. Okay. Um, for those of you that are students, check your mail. Um, we're running a special promotion. You could be in the September and October boot camp uh, at a, at a significant discount. And of course, we have <clears throat> you can still participate. The retreat's over, but you can still watch the recorded sessions. As for the rest of you. We'll catch you um, during our next session. So till next time, best of luck in building your business.